the Chernobyl disaster. It occurred on April 26, 1986 in Ukraine, which was then a part of the Soviet Union. Some 350,000 people were eventually evacuated from the area. More than 30 years later, it remains mostly unpopulated, at least by humans. While radioactive contamination wreaked havoc with the environment, you might be surprised to learn what happened to animals in Chernobyl. Number 14. Chernobyl Exclusion Zone A combination of inherent design flaws and operator error resulted in what is widely considered to be the worst nuclear power plant disaster in history, regarding cost and casualties. A massive steam explosive and graphite fire sent radioactive isotopes into the atmosphere for nine days. Much of the surface of Europe and the western USSR was contaminated by fallout. Hundreds of thousands of people were permanently evacuated from a contaminated area that measured some 4,200 square kilometers, 1,600 square miles. That area was later designated the Chernobyl Exclusion Zone, or the Zone of Alienation. Today, that area remains mostly uninhabited except for wildlife and a few hundred humans who refuse to leave despite the radiation. Number 13. Life on the food chain An example of the fallout's long-term effects come from the region's food chain. Soil radiation can be concentrated into mushrooms, which are eaten by voles or small rodents related to mice. The contamination is passed on to them, and as a result, they experience high rates of mutation. When the voles are later eaten by wolves, those animals acquire the contamination. High levels of radiation found in fish was also a concern in the years after the accident. The contamination was too high for human consumption and triggered worries in some areas of the UK and Germany. Long-term effects were felt in affected regions of Ukraine and Russia, as well as in Scandinavia. Number 12. Mutations in Wildlife in the areas bombarded with the largest amounts of radiation, there are many reports of animals being born with ghastly mutations. Those animals included pigs being born with various deformities including missing eyes, misshapen skulls and extra or missing limbs. Only three abnormal births had been documented in the five years before the disaster. Even after some 30 years, animals and livestock still display higher than normal levels of radiation that can be traced directly to Chernobyl. While most of them appear normal, many scientists regard the area's plant and animal life as mutants. That's because genetic mutations in those species have jumped by a factor of 20. Research is still ongoing to determine how that will affect the reproductive rates and population size of flora and fauna involved. Number 11. Human Mutations The exact number of human deaths linked to the disaster may never be known. While we found estimates ranging from 4,000 to 16,000 fatalities, those numbers can be disputed. Dozens of people were documented to have died from radiation sickness or thyroid cancer. Certain congenital birth defects in the region rose sharply since 1986, which are linked to radioactive fallout. Mutations are especially prevalent in Belarus, which is located about 4 miles from Chernobyl. That country absorbed an estimated 70% of the fallout. Today, that area still contains an assortment of abandoned buildings and ghost towns. Atmospheric radiation has fallen to arguable safer levels according to some sources, but the soil and groundwater are still dangerously contaminated. Number 10. Domestic Animals While most domestic animals like cattle and horses were removed from the exclusion zone, some were still left to die in the worst hit areas. Horses abandoned on islands of the Pripyat River perished when radiation destroyed their thyroid glands. Cattle at the same location also died, but the survivors experienced stunted growth due to thyroid damage. Animals that survived often stopped reproducing, however, subsequent generations appeared to be normal in their appearance and behaviour. Number 9. Pet Dogs about 36 hours after the accident occurred, residents in the town of Pripyat near the power plant were ordered to evacuate the area. They were given less than one hour to gather whatever belongings they could and board buses that transported them away. Pets including dogs, cats and other animals were not allowed to accompany their owners. That might not have seemed so harrowing since most of the residents thought that they wouldn't be gone for more than a few days. As it turned out, they never returned to their homes. That left hundreds of orphan dogs roaming the abandoned city. Soviet troops were ordered to shoot the animals to avoid them spreading radioactive contamination. Number 8. Strays in Chernobyl 
Today, there are an estimated 600 stray dogs inhabiting the exclusion zone that are descended from those who managed to stay alive. Approximately 200 cats are also found there. The animals don't have an easy life since they must live through the harsh Ukrainian winters with minimal shelter, and their lifespans are shortened due to the high levels of radioactive contamination in their fur. Still, there are volunteers that are providing the dogs and cats with food, veterinary care and long-term services including adoption. Number 7. The Red Forest Chernobyl's impact on the environment was severe. With 10 square kilometres, 4 square miles of pine forest killed by radiation poisoning. The plant life gained a ginger brown coloration after absorbing high levels of radiation. Due to that coloration, it became known as the Red Forest and is located within the exclusion zone. It's estimated to have taken the highest doses of radiation and left the forest with soil that is heavily contaminated. About 90% of the pollutants are located there. Researchers say the atmosphere contains radiation that is equal to 20 times the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The majority of pine trees were bulldozed and buried. Even so, it remains one of the world's worst contaminated areas. Not surprisingly, no humans live there. But some wildlife doesn't seem to mind the polluted atmosphere, as we'll soon discover. Number 6. The Red Forest Refuge after humans left the area in 1986, there was a noticeable increase in its biodiversity. Despite the high radiation, this region became a habitat for many endangered species, so much so that it's informally referred to as a unique wildlife refuge. In a few years after, wild boar were observed to increase their numbers by eightfold. Birds have been seen roosting within large holes of former nuclear reactors. In addition, animals including wolves, Bears, beavers and eagles have been documented to live in the area, but experts caution that some birds exhibit stunted feathers which can interfere with breeding. And since radioactivity is still being absorbed by plants and wildlife, the long-term effects of fallout are still unknown. Wildlife Rescued Since we mentioned how some endangered species are living in the Red Forest, let's take a look at a few notable animals found within the exclusion zone. In the case of some species, the Chernobyl disaster seems to have benefited them more than you might think. Number 5. Brown Bears Return In 2014, cameras caught images of brown bears roaming about the exclusion zone. That was significant because the animals hadn't been observed in the area for more than 100 years. While evidence of their presence was detected, this was the first photographic proof that was obtained. They'd seem difficult to miss. Eurasian brown bears can weigh more than 1,000 pounds, 481 kilograms, and measure more than 8 feet long, or 2.5 meters. Number 4. Shevalsky's Horse Named for a Russian explorer, this is a rare and endangered species that is native to the grasslands of Central Asia. A few dozen of the animals were released into the exclusion zone during the 1990s. They reproduced rapidly and at one point there were an estimated 200 individuals. But poachers reduced that number to about 40 individuals as of 2011. As of 2019, researchers say the population is increasing due to the absence of humans. Did you know that many experts consider this to be the world's only horse that is truly wild? That's because it's never been domesticated. Number 3. Radioactive Wolves Eurasian grey wolves have especially flourished, with specimens weighing an estimated 140 pounds have been observed. Their populations within the zone are estimated at seven times larger than surrounding reserves. By some counts, they have a population density that's higher than Yellowstone National Park. While the numbers are good news, they also reveal a reason for concern. One area can only contain so many large predators. As their population expands, wolves born within the exclusion zone will eventually roam out of their home range and into surrounding landscapes. That could increase the chances of the animals bringing radiation and possible mutations as they disperse into outlying areas. Experts think the dispersal behaviour will become more prevalent among wolves and other species. What impact the animals have on their new environments remains to be seen. Number 2. Even More Animals in addition to the wolves, horses and bears we just listed, researchers have documented many more species living in Chernobyl. That includes raccoon dogs, bison, foxes, moose, otters and stoats or weasel-like animals. Around 200 species of birds have been recognised, such as ravens, the tawny owl and the white-tailed eagle. Various fish and bacteria have also made the deserted area their home. 
but some smaller animals are conspicuously absent. In contrast to larger organisms, insects and spiders have seen a big fall off in numbers. It seems the areas of Chernobyl with the highest radiation have the fewest numbers of invertebrates. Number 1. Life Finds a Way more than three decades after the worst nuclear disaster in history, many animal species are now thriving at Chernobyl. While radiation levels might pose a threat to humans, animals have adapted and turned the area into a de facto wildlife refuge. Experts say that the Red Forest has become a textbook example of an involuntary park. That phrase describes areas previously inhabited by humans that have returned to a feral state. Why have the animals thrived? Some sources argue that the presence of humans is more dangerous for wildlife than the effects of Chernobyl's radiation. But it's worth remembering that any long-term effects are still mostly guesswork, and these critters do possess various degrees of radiation. At any rate, we'll close by paraphrasing Dr. Ian Malcolm in Jurassic Park. Life is finding a way in Chernobyl. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And while you're down there, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and click the bell for notifications for our next exciting episode right here on Epic Wildlife.